All right, you crazy Python developers. In this video, we are going to be learning about the NLTK library of Python. Now, this NLTK library is used for natural language processing. It's kind of like a trademark and like a standard, which is used for text processing, text analytics, and sentiment analysis in Python. If you want to know more about it, you can go to nltk.org and read more about it over here and go through the examples on what you can do, what you can't do with NLTK, and it's just a good read. But anyways, back to our code, what we're going to do is first of all, install NLTK. So how do you do that? Very easy. If you are not using PyCharm, just go to your terminal and write pip install and then NLTK. But if you're using PyCharm, first go to your project, project interpreter, and over there, you need to click on this plus icon over here and just find NLTK and install it. So NLTK is over here, click on install package and that's pretty much it. Now we also need to install something known as a corpus, which basically contains a lot of words and they basically tell whether the word is positive or negative. It is basically a huge data set that NLTK uses for text analytics. Just understand that. So what we are going to do to install that corpus or data set is we are going to create a new file in uh, our project sentiment analysis. After we have installed NLTK, we are just going to click, right click on our sentiment analysis project folder, go to new and click on new Python file. And we're just going to call it settings.py and click on OK. This will create a new file for us. And over here, you can just write import NLTK. And if NLTK is installed, this shouldn't give us any errors. And then you can just write nltk.download and this will download all the necessary things that are required on your computer. So let me just rectify the spelling. It's nltk.download. And after this, just run this settings.py file by right clicking on it and just run setting. And this kind of a window will pop up. And if it doesn't pop up, just wait for a few seconds. Sometimes it takes a couple of seconds to open up. And after that, you just need to go to all over here, select this and just click on download and it will download everything that is inside nltk. And this is a little bit bigger in size, so it might take a couple of minutes, like maybe even 5-10 minutes to download it all. After you have downloaded it, you are ready to go and you don't need to install anything else and you'll be able to do all the natural language processing in the world. So what we are going to do now is I'm just going to delete this settings.py file because I've already downloaded it. I don't need it now. I'm just going to delete it from here. And now in this video, we are going to be using this NLTK library to tokenize that is split the sentence into different words and also remove stop words from a read.txt file. So how do you tokenize first? So first we need to import the NLTK library. So we are just going to write from NLTK dot tokenize. We are going to import something known as the word tokenizer. So we are just going to write word tokenize and then we are going to come down and we have already converted it to lowercase. We have cleaned the text of all punctuations mark. And now instead of doing the dot split, we are going to be using the tokenize functionality of NLTK. So we're just going to write word underscore tokenize and it requires some parameters. That is the text that you want to tokenize and the language. So you can actually tokenize different languages like German, Spanish, any language that you want in NLTK. The good thing about NLTK is that it's multi-language supported, so you don't have to worry about the language. So anyways, for right now, our language is just English. So first parameter, we are just going to give it a uh, text. And in our case, it's clean text. And the second parameter is English. As you can see over here, it's written. So we're just, just going to put in double quotes and we're just going to write English and the words should have been split. Now the question is, why shouldn't we just use dot split instead? Why are we using this word underscore tokenize? And the reason is that when the read.txt file gets very, very big, for example, if you're analyzing a big research paper or maybe like a book or something to find out the emotions, dot split is going to take a lot of time. What this does is word underscore tokenize that it's been created by like scientists and like cool Python people to make sure that it runs in the most optimum time. So this is going to run like really, really quickly. So that is why Everybody in natural language processing uses word underscore tokenize instead of dot split. Obviously, there are other corner cases where the word underscore tokenize is better than dot split, but we're not going to worry about that right now. And now we need to remove the stop words. So for right now, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to remove all of these stop words because we don't need this. And now we are going to import something else from NLTK. So we are just going to write import from NLTK dot corpus. So this is the basically the data set that NLTK has. And from that, we are just going to import the stop words. So it has a list of stop words inside its corpus data set. A corpus is just like an English word for like a data set. But anyways, now that we have imported all the stop words, we are just going to remove all the stop words from our final words, from our tokenized words. 
So we can just come down to where we are removing stop words. And now what we are going to do, because this stop words doesn't have like an underscore at the bottom. So we are just going to copy that and we are going to just remove the underscore from over here. And we're going to put in the brackets and tell us the language. So the good thing about NLTK is that like stop words, it has stop words in every language like German, Spanish, like I told you. So it has a collection of all stop words in every language. So this makes like multilingual support really, really easy. But anyways, this is pretty easy. We just wrote if word not in stop words and we gave it the language that we want, that is the English, then it's go get stored inside this final underscore words list. Just like we kind of did when we were creating and even we were just removing the stop words. So, all right guys, this is pretty much it for this video. Let me just run it so that you guys can see that it's working properly. So let's see our read.txt file, how does it look? All right, still the Steve Jobs uh, commencement piece. So I'm just gonna run the main file again. All right, so it gets giving us an error called lazy corpus loader. So what I've done is that I've not included a parameter over here. So let me just come down to stop words and we need to include another dot functionality over here and it's called dot word with the s so it's words so now it's, it should be working so we're just gonna play it again so stop words dot words because it, we want words from this function of stop words or class of stop words so we're just gonna run this and hopefully everything will work fine and you can see all the emotions are being shown properly so all right guys this is pretty much it for this video in this video we learned how to tokenize and remove stop words using nltk library and the next video which i'm really really excited about and it's the last video of this series is how to find the sentiment analysis like what's the is it the positive sentiment or is it the negative sentiment so we're going to find those sentiment using nltk library in the next video so i'll see you over there